Hi guys, how are you? I actually had a great post on one of the videos that I do. Uh, I have a lot of clinic courses for you and one of them is low tone and um, the spine. So it's low tone SMA. I just have a lot of SMA. As you know with Movement Lesson, I really don't go by diagnosis, like so I don't have a CP course or because again, I start looking at vision. I start looking at other things. I want you to understand movement and how to work with your child. I really, um, as you know, being a mother and, and what I needed out of this, if one more person just said, well, you know, if I had an autistic kid or my autistic kid, and, and I just would turn to them and say, my son's Graham. He might have autism, but he's he also has blue eyes so autism is a characteristic of him but he's not my autistic kid and and when you're working with movement everyone's function or needs for movement is different just like for you or i now i drive let's say my car now if you got into my car you would have to make adjustments you might put the seat back right you tint the mirror differently tint the mirror differently because you're built different than i am we still have brains, we still have a skeletal system, we still have a heart, but we're individuals, right? And and that's how I look at it. So too, um, I don't I don't say that I'm, I have an appointment right now. Let's say with my SMA kid, right? You know, uh, it's 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 Claire. It's it's I just had Taylor. I, I you know I, I just that's how I work. So when you're working with a child that specifically has low tone, why does movement lesson help with low tone or any tone? So I've presented papers on this, starting, starting from my Oxford presentation on down. So one of the things that I like to do is, is again, prove my work. I'm not here to say, oh, I have great hands, copy my hands. Never said that. Do I have a really good touch? You know, I'm telling you, if you came here for your child and you got felt up by me, you'd say, kid, move over. I'm going to get a lesson with Michelle. And that, that's just the way it is. As a matter of fact, starting October within the clinic, if you're coming in for an intensive, that's another thing we're gonna to add to your education is that you're gonna have a session with one of us so you understand how to go home and, and apply the work. Because your success and your child's success is not what comes out of my mouth, is, is it's being applied to your child. And we call that continuity of care. So when you have a low tone child, and I have a low tone child, you know, my, my child's probably, my child's more low tone than your child, you know, I don't mean like, like that, but Graham, Graham is low tone. How Graham does what he does is the proof of all my work and what I'm trying to teach you. So within, technically, the cells of the muscles are called sarcomeres. Within the sarcomeres, right, uh, x-rays were, uh, x-ray slides were read in 1954 that it was a sliding filament. However, these slides were of a frog. They really don't oppose gravity and they don't have a rotation. If you look at the drawings within the sarcomere, the myosin and the Atkins are twisted. However, science leads you to believe that there's this. Now, I'm too sorry, I can slide all I want. It's not going to create a rotation. And this is where I made some of my big jumps when I was working with someone. First of all, when I work with someone really intensively, I can feel the gyroscope. There's only one reason why you can feel a gyroscope. Why? Because we're spinning on this earth. And that's where I started having the gravity conversations, right? If the earth has to be rotating cores in opposite directions for us to feel this. So if we're here and doing all of those kind of things, I, I show you the, the videos on chickens and all of this kind of things, we can do these movements. Now, is this functional? I can sit here all day and do a TikTok video, right? But that's not going to get food to my face. We have representations of these movements. So when the mice and Atkin, they all have to synchronize at a certain time. Why? Because this is crawling. I rotate or extend out my sarcomeres as I'm pulling back, as I'm pulling back.
And so that's why one of my papers was not only that this is synchronized rotation, but that this is perpetual motion, right? And this is where children start going into their spins and I'm not tired because they're playing with these sensations until we're told enough to just sit still, right? And so when you watch me, right, I can do all of these things because I'm a kid and, and I practice what I preach. When you have a low tone child, especially when they've gone through trauma, usually the trauma is genetics. This, the, the, the hint of low tone is you've got genetics. In my son's case, he had a massive infection for three years. Um, but there's, there's, there's usually that kind of trauma. Now on top of that, you might have had respiratory distress at birth, us, what they say, the suck reflex, and all that kind of stuff to swallow. So everyone starts saying, oh, well, if he was stronger. Well, guess what? Arnold Schwarzenegger can't play the piano. Why? Because he's too strong. A child with cerebral palsy still can't feed themselves because why? They're too strong. Their sarcomeres are going in both direction, and they can't get their hands to their mouth. So no matter if you use movement lesson for low tone or a high tone child, the results that you're looking for are the same. You're looking for those rotations to come into play. What do you need when you have low tone? Okay, your first answer is strength. Okay, what do you really think you need? First of all, with low tone and high tone, you need better balance. I will be the first to tell you, babies don't have good balance. That's not something they work with. That's why I don't bring balance into, let's say, my modality. What I bring into more so, even though I do say it's balance, it's more counterbalance or counter reaction. Everything a baby does counters. Even with something like this, why can I do it? Because I have a very high counter response, right? When that goes into play, guess what? I don't need as many muscles or the strength of my muscles. Now, if my muscles were really strong, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna get glitchy. You want that, that's me on a skateboard. This is me on a surfboard, wherever. That's, oh, wow, you know what I mean? And I'm crawling. So when you have low tone, you need a good counter response. You do need a higher balance. Now, adults balance, like I can just stand on one foot and balance and do this or still eat my corn on the cot, right? Kids don't. That's why we also don't ask them to bring their dishes from the table when they're two because they're also in weight transfer mode. They won't put the dishes against them and then the food's all over their place. They can't sit there and balance and go dinner is served, right? You're not going to see that from a young child. So with low tone, what do you need then? more stamina. Now most people again go to the muscle. Muscle has to be stronger for stamina. Actually with stamina you need ease of movement. For me to have more stamina means my parks work well. When I'm sitting here I can do this all day long because I don't have that friction and I can keep going and that's why kids you sit there and go aren't you tired and they're like nope. They can ride a horse all day long where you know after 20 minutes because you're doing this on the horse you're tired. Right? You don't have these principles or you've forgotten to play with them. You have to play with these things, even if you're an adult. So with that, those are the things you're looking for. So when you're doing these movements for a low tone child, if I have weight transfer and counter response, I can start doing things that I never thought possible. But if you're waiting for your child to get stronger, right? Muscles don't create a movement. They respond to a movement. So you're offering them a movement vocabulary into their system that they can't play with. And that's where the benefits of changing a child's tone or adding to their low tone. My son is six foot one and shouldn't be walking. And he does it just fine. Little old ladies don't have core strength. Sorry, little old men too. Go into the market when they're 83 years old. My dad has Charcot Marie Tooth and he's still just in a walker. And even uh, Claudia just had to run to my house to pick something up and she's like, you know, he's 83. And she's like, he's really strong. He's like, he just does it. Because he, he has these principles within his system. But are his, he can't even feel his legs. He has no feeling from the thighs on down, right? If these principles are in play, you can do anything. But if you're waiting for the system to become something that it's not, that's where some of the fatigue and the frustration comes. 
I know, I've been there, I've done it all, I've done so many different things, right? And two, look at the, all the videos you have to play with. You know, it's so funny, if one more person says, you have too much, I don't know where to go. Well, A, start. Every day we post a new video, start with one. If you're not sure, ask a question. Honestly, most of the responses here are from me. And if you wanna know more, do a training. Right? I offer a lot for free and very low because some people just need just that. The basics, that's all they want. I have trainings to help your child to have a complete home program, whether it's a laser, whether it's the movement lesson for parents and practitioners, which is four segments, the cranial movements are coming out, the cognitive vision. Oh my gosh, you know, if you want to know how your child's seeing, just that should be your first start because if you improve movement, you're going to improve anything. If I'm low tone, right, and I'm trying to go over here, you're expecting proprioceptive responses, reflexes coming out the course because I'm so tired of that. You expect these, these conditions to, to kick in. The conditions kick in because of the way your child's moving or not moving in response to gravity. So understanding how your child moves, that's where you're gonna get the efficiency out of the system. That being said, there's quite a few videos to review. We're reviewing those Monday, I think at 10 or 10.30. We're just marking the event now. I know a lot of you posted for the week, but again, it's a free response that I do, and I do them weekly. So we're gonna go for Monday for that. If you're looking for your video review, I'll start tagging you up to, to look for that event on Monday. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your movement lesson. But remember, every day we just post a video. Nothing happens unless you're trying. You have to apply it, right? It's just like me posting a live. Now I look back and I've got, I'm probably up to almost 5,000 videos. You know, um, it didn't happen overnight, right? I probably worked on about 25,000 people. I've been to 13 countries. So if you actually, if you're not a groupie yet, you know, like I don't sleep much and I'm always here and I'm available. The question is there, um, just ask. But I do both best when I see movement. So post your videos and I'll see you. Thanks. Have a good weekend.